This is uh, Basra, um, as in the southern city of uh, Iraq. Basra was captured in the last Gulf War by the British Army. That always has been the plan. The, the uh, Americans would take Baghdad and actually the rest of Iraq. The British would occupy the south, Basra. Basra is actually uh, has a strong history. Um, it's a place that mainly <coughs> Shiite people live there, Shiite Muslims. So therefore, they also had a history with, um, uh, um, with uh, Saddam Hussein because they were oppressed during, during Saddam regime. The, the Shiite people got a lot of um, troubles from Saddam Hussein. Uh, you remember the mass graves we found later on. Most of the victims were Shiite victims. And th there is a story behind it because in the first Gulf War, um, the Shiites actually tried to oppress Saddam Hussein and uh, on the last moment they didn't get the promised uh, support from the Western troops. So when the, uh, the Americans pulled out, when Kuwait was captured in the first Gulf War, these people were the victims because then Saddam Hussein uh, took revenge for their um, uprising. But now this is the uh, this is after the uh, I call it invasion of the British troops in the Second Gulf War now, 2003. And um, I'm here with um, in a sort of patrol. This is these are pictures shot from uh, from an APC or a, a British military vehicle driving through the streets of Basra and at this time this is everything was still more or less quiet I mean the people were you know there was a sort of positive feeling actually towards the British troops I have to say I mean people were thinking now things were going better and uh, unfortunately we have to uh, we have to say now that it wasn't totally the truth um, but you see, therefore, you see little kids waving at you. You see people being, or at least trying to be friendly to you. Uh, but it's a strange feeling because, you know, you are with the army and I don't really particularly like it. But sometimes you don't have, uh, nowadays, there is not much more alternative to go with them. Because if you walk in the streets uh, with your big camera, you might be captured and kidnapped within 10 minutes. So. This is sometimes the only way to do it, and uh, it does. It's also a nice way to do nice pants. You're from a high, higher position in a car, and you can capture daily life. And you pass by. People don't sometimes don't know they're getting filmed because you come on a quite a, you know you, you travel with some speed and um, you capture daily life moments while driving by. So it's a it's a long. Um, it's a, it's a tracking shot of daily life in Basra after the British invasion.